Hey everyone, Minutia Minute here, coming at you guys with a quick uh, unboxing for this week's Movie Rewind. As you can see, I've got a package here from Severin Films. I'm not 100% sure as to what's in here, but I, I have a strong suspicion, so we'll crack it open and take a look. And, yep, it is exactly what I was hoping for. A whole bunch of exclusive Severin packing peanuts. Oh, wait. Oh, it looks like they messed up my order. There's something else under here. All right. Here it is. Nasty habits. So, <laughs> this is a blind buy for me. One that um, was a request of Minutia Wife. My Nusha wife went to Catholic school growing up, so I think that's partly why she was so interested in this collection. One of the cool things about this set is it's the first time any of these films have been released on Blu-ray in North America. Uh, some of the films, actually, it's their first release worldwide, so that's something I know she was really excited about, too. I'm going to run this downstairs, crack it open, and we'll take a look at the contents in here. Okay, so here's a little bit better look at the box, which you've kind of already seen. Um, this set came out from Severin Films on the 30th of November. I had pre-ordered it when we saw that it was available, and um, we just got it today in the mail. The name of this box set is Nasty Habits, the Nunsploitation Collection. It features these four films, uh, Christiana, Devil Nun, Story of a Cloistered Nun, Images in a Covenant, and The True Story of the Nun of Monza. Uh, and these are all nunsploitation films. Uh, I believe they're all Italian. Um, if you look at the back of the box, it kind of gives a little bit of an explanation about what the set is all about. Severin Films invites you to partake in its unholy sacrament with these four uncut, uncensored nunsploitation classics, and then it gives a little bit of a blurb about each of the films. I love at the bottom here, Severin Films proudly presents this Sir Poop. <laughs> <laughs> Sir Plu <laughs> I can't even say this word. Surper <laughs> superfluity of depravity, each mastered from original source elements with all new special features produced exclusively for this collection. Um, the only one I'm really familiar with is Story of a Cloistered Nun, and really just in name only. One of the things I noticed about this box set when I lift it is it's actually really light. Uh, kind of uncommonly light. So I'm very curious to see what the packaging on the inside is like, so let's break it open and find out. Okay, so much like the uh, Eurocrypt of Christopher Lee set that I showed off like a month ago, um, the top lifts off. You've got uh, just kind of a blank black inner sleeve. It's actually really classy. I like it a lot, uh, especially alongside the black Blu-ray spines that they've been using. But uh, yeah, so there's the set. We'll close her up. No, I'm, I'm just kidding. We'll break each of these open and see what's inside. So first up, we've got Christiana Devil Nun, which looks wonderfully depraved. Take a look at the back. So worldwide disc premiere of the Italian and X-rated American versions. So this has never been on disc before. Um, and this features the extended Italian cut with optional partial English audio. And then Sisters of Vice and Virtue, the Marquis de Sade, and Nunsploitation, a video essay by Lindsay Hollum. So crack it open, and you've got your disc art on the inside matches the main art, and no special reversible art on the back. I don't think generally Severin has reversible art, but always worth taking a look. So that's the first film. Next film in the set, we have Story of a Cloistered Nun. And then taking a look at the back, we have an interview with actress Martine Brochard, interview with actress Eleonora Giorgi, and within a cloister, an interview with the camera operator, Danielle Nanuzzi, and then the trailer. I, um, I feel like I've seen some of these available individually, but I guess not. It might be that I've just seen the imports available because I'm always trolling around, uh, you know, Region B stuff and stuff like that, so maybe that's how I've seen it before. All right, third up. Okay, so the next movie up uh, actually is going to be censored. 
So next up we have images in a covenant. And taking a look at the back, we've got uh, a bunch of pictures I can't show. <laughs> and for special features, this has audio commentary with Kat Ellinger, author of Daughters of Darkness, and then 25 minutes worth of deleted scenes with optional commentary. That's pretty cool. The whole thing makes you want to take a shower with a nun. This is Joe D'Amato, which is code for this movie's going to be total sleaze. That'll be fun. All right, and then one more movie to show. We have the true story of the nun of Monza. Looks pretty brutal. Sadistic and erotic, as all nunsploitation inevitably is. So this features uh, The Cross and the Sin, an interview with the screenwriter. Uh, oh, that's right, I forgot about this. So this is written by Claudio Fragrasso. He's famous for a lot of things, but um, infamous for Troll 2, if you're fans of So Bad They're Good Movies, that's a pretty high-profile one. Um, one of my favorite movies that he was involved in is actually over here, and it is Robo War, which is basically like a Predator ripoff, and there's nothing more fun than watching Predator and then immediately watching Robo War. You will not stop laughing the entire time. It's absolutely fantastic so if you've never seen robo war give that a try claudio fragrasso has done a lot of other stuff though too a lot of horror films uh non-sploitation and so on and so forth so so if you're into italian movies you're into b movies you probably are already familiar with them so anyway last up for special features we have an interview with actress zora karova but anyway, there are your four films, um, all available for the first time ever in North America on Blu-ray, and some of them even uh, first time on Blu-ray worldwide, so that's pretty cool. I have spent very little time with Nunsploitation, so I'm excited to give this series a watch, and if I'm so inclined, maybe I'll do some more detailed reviews of these. Although that said, I already still owe you guys some Eurocrypt reviews, so uh, it might be a little while before I get to this one. But uh, either way, excited to dig into it. Uh, if I had a criticism of this set, it just would be nice if there was a little bit of a booklet or something. Um, I mean, the, the heft on it is noticeably lighter than uh, you'll see on other Severin film sets, but um, not really complaining. I mean... This is one of those sets where it's just exciting to be able to actually have these movies available. The movies themselves, in a sense, are the special feature because they are rare and hard to, hard to acquire. So anyway, that is my unboxing of Nasty Habits. If you're interested, feel free to check out Severin's website. As far as I know, it's still available. And I hope you guys have a great week in movies.